Hearts. Hearts is an evasion type trick taking playing card game for four players, although variations can accommodate between three and six players. The game is also known as Black Lady, Black Maria, Black Widow, and Slippery Bitch, though any of these may refer to the similar but differently scored game Black Lady. The game is a member of the Whist family of trick taking games, which also includes Bridge and Spades, but the game is unique among Whist variants seeing that it is an evasion type game. Players avoid winning certain penalty cards and tricks, usually by avoiding winning tricks altogether. The game of hearts is currently known originated with a family of related games called Reversus, which became popular around 1750 in Spain. In this game, a penalty point was awarded for each trick won, plus additional points for capturing or. A similar game called Four Jacks centered around avoiding any trick containing a jack, which were worth one penalty point, and worth two. Over time, Additional penalty cards were added to reverses, and around 1850, the game gave way to a simple variant of hearts, where each heart was worth one point. The, sometimes referred to as Calamity Jane, was introduced in a variant called Black Maria which then became known as the Standard Hearts game, and soon thereafter, the idea of shooting the moon was introduced to the game to add depth to the gameplay. In the 1920s, the variation, 10 positive points was introduced and some time later the scoring was reversed so that penalty points were expressed as positive instead of negative. Passing cards, breaking hearts, leading, and shooting the foot, whereby a player attempts to shoot the moon, but succeeds in taking the queen and all but own heart, are more recent additions. The game has become popular in live play among grade school students in Canada, and has increased in popularity through internet gaming sites. In many parts of the world, it became known through the Microsoft version of the game packaged with most 1990s versions of its Windows operating system, beginning in version 3.11. The overall objective is to be the player with the fewest points by the end of the game. 13 cards are dealt to each player. The basic game of hearts does not include card passing, but the most common variants do. Before each hand begins, each player chooses three cards and passes them to another player. The main objectives of passing are to try to become short or void in a suit, and thus able to play off suit when that suit is led, or to rid one's hand of dangerous cards that will likely force that player to take a trick containing penalty points, such as the ace, king, or queen of any suit, especially spades and hearts. There are many variations on passing, the most common, popularized by computer versions, wrote a test passing through four deals, on the first deal, players pass to the left the second deal to the right, the third across the table. On the fourth deal no cards are passed, the cycle of four deals is then repeated. Other variations on the passing rules include. The game is played like most other trick-taking games. The first trick is led by the player to the left of the dealer. Each other player, in clockwise order, then plays a card from their hand. Players must follow suit, that is, play a card of the same suit as the lead card, if they are able. If they are not able to do so, they can play any card, an action known as sloughing or discarding, including a penalty heart or the trick in any penalty points it contains are won by the player who played the highest value card of the suit that was led out that player then becomes the lead player for the next trick, and play continues until all players have exhausted their hands. There are some common variants to this play. Each heart taken in a trick scores one penalty point against the player winning the trick, and taking costs 13 penalty points. There are thus 26 penalty points in each deal. The game usually ends when one player reaches or exceeds 100 points, or, in some variations, after a predetermined number of deals or period of time. In any of these cases, the winning player is the one with the fewest penalty points. Optionally, if two or more players have the same number of fewest penalty points in a 100 point game, it continues until there is a clear winner. For example, if player 1 has 120 points, player 2 has 90 points, and players 3 and 4 each have 85 points. It is also possible to score with chips. All players contribute one chip to a central pool of chips. The pool is divided equally among those players taking no penalty cards on a deal. If all players take penalty cards, the pool remains on the table and is added to the next pool. Once one player has won all available chips, or once another player has run out, the game ends. There are many scoring variants, including Shooting the Moon, also known as Getting Control, Cap Mango, or Running the Cards, is a very common scoring variant. If one player takes all the penalty cards on one deal, that player's score remains unchanged while 26 penalty points are added to the scores of each of the other players. 
This is known as playing by old moon rules. In the new moon rules, the player subtracts 26 points from his own score instead of adding 26 to the others. Attempting to shoot the moon is often a risky strategy, as failure to capture every single penalty card will result in the remaining penalty points, as many as 25, if only one heart is missed, being added to one score. There are several sub-variations to these rules. With the exception of trying to shoot the moon, players attempt to discard high cards, especially high hearts or spades, and try to avoid winning points. This can either be accomplished by creating a void, or playing a high card last in a trick that has no points. Generally speaking, it is advantageous to play the highest card possible without winning the trick. Players particularly concentrate on getting rid of high cards in suits that they do not have padding low cards in. For example, if a player had the would not be much of an issue, they can play the four lower cards and hopefully exhaust another player's spades before being forced to play the. In contrast, if they only had, then they would be forced to play the the first time spades were led, with the risk that another player will respond with. Avoid is when a player does not have any cards of a certain suit. Generally this is a highly advantageous situation, because it prevents the player from winning any points in that suit, and provides a means to dispose of poor cards. These can be intentionally created with good passing strategy, or appear by themselves. If a player does not have, or, it is to that player's advantage to lead spades to try to force onto another player. This is also referred to as smoking the lady slash queen, in reference to the combat action of creating smoke in a closed area so that any enemy combatants hiding there would be forced to come out into the open the is forced to be played by its bearer, thus causing these points to be taken by that bearer and thus evaded by the player actuating the smoking. A player who is or but not, and with a large number of other spades, may feel that he is insulated from being forced to play or in any subsequent smoking play, and thus could also participate in smoking. Even the player that has the, provided he similarly has a lot of other spades may decide to smoke himself to empty all the other players of their spades, thus ironically insulating himself from being smoked in the future, or perhaps to get the game into the situation in which another player's has a dry, i.e., solitary, spade that is or, in which case he could start a trick within full knowledge that some other player hay size dry or and will be forced to play it, taking these points. Shooting the moon can rapidly change the direction of a game in a player's favor, however, it is also very risky. A good hand for shooting the moon should contain significant high cards, in addition to a long run of a single suit that can be used to keep the lead once the other players have run out of that suit. In general, when passing, the player is trying to both get rid of bad cards and create voids to get rid of bad cards they may receive. And are two of the most important cards to get rid of, because they can draw in. In addition, high hearts can leave the player defenseless once hearts are broken. Care must be taken in passing too many high cards, which could allow the player receiving the cards to shoot the moon. When creating voids, it is best to do that in either clubs or diamonds, because players want to avoid receiving high hearts or spades without having any padding. For this reason spades lower than the queen are typically not passed unless the player is attempting to shoot the moon. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.